Good morning, YouTube land. It's Debbie from the Canadian Crutcheter. Today is April 1st. Today is the day that I do the draw for uh, the locale winners. Uh, I guess the initial thought process was one random and one that impresses me, but there was way too many that impressed me. So we're going to do two um, random ones out of the uh, FO thread. Uh, Karen from Happiness is Homemade will be doing the drawing for one winner from the Cheddar Thread. So, but before I start that, I want to not give out a shout out because she doesn't have a channel or anything. I want to wish the best birthday to my friend Cheryl. Uh, I've known Cheryl for decades and she is my sister from another mister. <laughs> and today is her birthday and uh, I wanted to wish her a wonderful, wonderful birthday. All right, got that out of the way. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do what I've done. So I looked at the FO thread and there were some posts that were deleted by either myself or, or whoever. So the numbers actually start at 17 and go to 111. Um, now, what I'm doing is I'm just using, oh, oh, sorry, the lighting is awful. Um, is I'm just using the Google com uh, number generator because I haven't figured out how there's no comment picker for Ravelry so I'm just using the number I'm gonna pick a number and then correlate it to I have the Ravelry FO thread open on my computer so we'll do it that way alright so the first winner who's going to get um, uh, Ella's oh my goodness Ella's uh, project bag with the llamas and the Venotians pouch and Karen's needle case and a skein of yarn from uh, the Loving Path called Far From Far Flung Friendship and a pattern of the panda from Valerie at Old Soul Crochet Co. Uh, Okay, so the first winner, and I'm just going to generate, is number 81. Now I'm going to look up who is number 81. Uh, 81. Uh, 81. 81. Is the Little Xenia Patch. Angelia. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I'm also going to do is when I edit this, I'm going to try to put in a picture somewhere here or after this of the the winners and then at the end of the video I'm going to do a little video montage of all of the entries that were submitted um, I did send out an email yesterday <laughs> probably too late to get permission from everybody and I would say 90 percent of people have responded saying yes go ahead and use it uh, if I don't get the responses from everyone I'm going to make the video montage anyway because I can't imagine anybody not wanting to like show off their masterpieces. Um, but if I do post the video and then they come back and say, I don't want you to use my picture, I will have to amend the video and take it off of YouTube and then put it back on without their picture. Okay, so anyway, number one is Angelia. Uh, she did this little... Um, cozy kind of thing um, I'm gonna post it anyway it's from uh, she's from Arkansas Razorback country <laughs> it's awesome it's really really cute all right let's uh, let's move on okay we're gonna generate another number and that is 89 so who is 89 89 is 88 Chris Smith 06. She posted a wonderful hat uh, using the University of Michigan colors. Uh, I don't know if it's her son modeling it, but he's a cutie. <laughs> anyway, I will post a picture after this of that too. So Chris, um, you are the second winner and the second winner will get this wonderful smaller uh, project bag with bees on it. The a skein of yarn from Crooked Kitchen Yarn, and it's called Rusty Bucket. One of Karen's needle cases, and you will get the elephant pattern from Valerie at Old Soul Crochet Co. And um, I will contact you through Ravelry to let you know you're a winner. 
I'm going to need your email address or where you want me to email you the pattern and your mailing address, of course, so that uh, I can mail you your prizes. And my email address is crochet2018 at rogers.com. Well, that was exciting. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Chris and uh, Angelia, congratulations. You guys did an awesome job. All right, now uh, on to the next topic that I'd like to discuss. Today I'm going to be opening up a chatter thread for the new cal that we're having. This cal is going to be the sprawl cal. Um, we initially, the idea is spring, so spring, shawl, sprawl. <laughs> I still think that's funny. <laughs> anyway, um, it will start today and run for two months. And it will close May 31st. Um, the draw will be done on June 1st. Now, some rules. Okay, so the idea is uh, we initially thought spring shawls, spring scarves, stuff like that. But we have opened it up to any spring-related wearable. So a hat, uh, a tunic, a, sh a tank top, or anything like that. So any spring related um, wearable whether it be in the type of yarn that you use or the colors that you use uh, something representing spring um, be aware that I might be stealing your <laughs> your ideas <laughs> anyway this time around so we're gonna have one winner from the FO thread one winner from the chatter thread and one winner we're gonna open this up to on Instagram the hashtag will be Hashtag Sprawl Cal. Um, and Karen, my trusty <laughs> sidekick, she is going to handle the Instagram one. Um, she will be drawing a prize from the Instagram uh, posts. Uh, okay, what else do I need to do? Okay, some rules. Like I said, any spring related wearables. It's not a mal, so it has to be yarn related. So knitted, crocheted, loom knitted, felting, whatever. Uh, but it has to be, you have to use yarn for it. Uh, it has to be, as of today, less than 50% done. So I don't want something that you've done two years ago and, um, you know, to enter into the cal now. You absolutely can show off uh, what you did two years ago in the chatter thread, um, but not in the FO thread. The FO thread, as of today, has to be less than 50% uh, finished or started new. Uh, what else do I have to do? I think that's it. I think that's it. So if you're not a member of the Canadian uh, Crotcheter um, Ravelry group, come on over, join the chatter, join the FO when you finish your product um, object, and uh, let's let's make the second cal even better. I don't have any prizes yet because it's two months away, but I'm sure it's going to be uh, pretty awesome. Okay, and again, I'm going to put a little video montage at the end of this of all of the entries um, so we can all revel in their their greatness. Okay, I think that's all I have. Um, the last thing I wanted to to talk about is Mary from Mary's Chit Chat. She's a wonderful lady in uh, Ireland. She made a boo-boo. <laughs> she accidentally um, lost all of her subscribers. Um, I think she's admitted to making a mistake, so um, woke up and they're all gone. and. So if you are a, uh, if you were subscribed to Mary's channel, um, go back and resubscribe. Resubs re um, and if you're not, if you don't know who Mary is, maybe you should pop over there and check her out. I will leave the link for her. She is, there's no better word to say for Mary than, she's a hoot. She, um, she does, you know, the show and tells, but she also does a lot of chit chats, which are absolutely fantastic when you're you know zoned into your crochet and you want to listen to something and you can listen to Mary um, she is fantastic um, she's fun to watch and fun to listen to and uh, she's very very active in this community so 
um, let's go give her shore some love. I think that is all I have um, over the next two months. If I think of anything else, I will throw it out there. But I think for now, um, this is uh, all I've got. And I hope everyone has a wonderful upcoming weekend, and we will talk soon.